Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. I'm back again with another pick a card reading for you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all the support, all of the comments. You guys are truly amazing. I'm so glad that this channel is attracting so many amazing people. Um, if you're finding yourself on my channel for the first time, welcome. We are a space of light and love. I do daily pick a card readings here. Um, I do messages for soulmates and separation. <laughs> but if you are into tarot, into spirituality, I hope that you join us. Pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of tea, and we'll have a chat. We're all friends at my table. So today's reading is an urgent love message from your person. So think of a person in your mind. It could be a no contact situation. It could be any person you're thinking of. This is an urgent love message from them. We do have three piles in front of you. Pile number one with the mouse spirit and the wild red rose. Pile number two with the frog spirit and the white cluster. Pile number three with the buffalo spirit and the pink rose. As always, my timestamps will be listed below. If you need a moment to pause the video and choose the pile or piles that are calling out to you, um, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into pile number one today. Urgent love message from your person. Hi, everybody in group one. I hope you're doing really well today. You guys were drawn to the mouse spirit and this wild red rose. And today we are asking the question of spirit. What is an urgent love message from your person? The mouse spirit is... When I see this little creature, I often think of a fight or flight animal. So I feel like someone who could be aware, very much aware of you, maybe not in contact with you, um, someone who could be hiding their true feelings, and someone that might uh, disappear at the first sign of danger at times. You know, they're the first person to take off, not get embroiled in too much drama. They don't like drama they like to uh, you know stay in the background and be an observer of things and so that could be your energy or your person's energy coming through okay so urgent love message from your person of course we'll be doing charms today and for those of you who have had sound issues um, i am working with a new mic today so if uh, if you had problems hearing me when wearing earbuds on one side, I hear that the right side is often difficult for, to hear. Please let me know if that issue is resolved um, on your end. Urgent love message from your person. So the Nine of Pentacles and Temperance are the first cards out of the deck today the nine of pentacles is truly and their opinion of you is so high they think that you are very well put together they think you're secure they think you know what you want in life they think you're very attractive you could be a very confident person they just want you to know that that they think that you're amazing they haven't given up hope in this connection um, they truly want balance with you they feel like they could be your yin yang your soulmate we do have the temperance here with this beautiful yin yang world infinity symbol here that she's holding they truly desire balance with you because they have such a high opinion of you that nine of pentacles shows that security that they feel in you that you're confident you know i feel like they think that there's a discrepancy they want to be more like you i feel they have more of a timid energy and they look at you like this confident queen or king Urgent message from your person. Urgent love message, spirit. The Knight of Wands. So this person has a lot of um, unrequited passion that they want to express with you. This Knight of Wands is courageous. He's charismatic. You know, they want to come galloping in. And they could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Sorry, I get more cozy. They don't have to be. Um, but the Knight of Wands is just this courageous, this courageous, youthful energy that comes galloping in, yielding all of this passion that they have for you. So there's a lot of passion this person wants to express to you. Um, and I feel like maybe they haven't been able to gain up the, that courage to express themselves. Urgent love message from spirit or from your person. Urgent love message. 
two coming up here. Let's see what we have. So we have the five of wands and the two of swords. Your person is in this decision-making mode of how to approach you with all of this passion that they feel for you. But that five of wands shows that they have, there could be a fear of competition, you know, a conflict. They could be um, worried that they are in competition for your affections or that you have a lot of options, you know, and that two of swords really shows them hiding those feelings for you with that moon in the background and trying to be clear with themselves about how they want to move forward in this connection. The two of swords is truly about, you know, feeling like there's a blockage here, trying to make a decision to move forward, but they see a lot of conflict in the way of this connection. But that passion is what is driving them forward here. The passion they feel for you is very intense. There's a lot of fire here. <laughs> urgent love message what do they want you to know that they can't tell you face to face for whatever reason the five of cups so there's a real discrepancy with how this person feels about you versus how they feel about themselves with that five of cups you know they're really focused on what they don't have to offer you as opposed to what they do have to offer you you if you think of that traditional rider weight deck um or the Rider Weight Five of Cups, you know, that person's knocked down three cups and they're ignoring the two cups that are behind them. Um, this person spends a lot of time worried and thinking about the past, thinking about past mistakes, thinking about past missed opportunities, I feel. And that really sets them into a negative mindset when it comes to you, because when they look at you, they see that Nine of Pentacles, they see abundance, they see security, they see a hopeful future, and it thrusts them into not feeling good enough urgent love message it also really represents you know that depth of emotion with those cups the cups are all about the emotional side of this person really represents water energy the moon so i feel like this person as i said i it could be that you guys are in separation right now but this moon really tells me that they're not being honest with you they're wearing a mask in this connection you see this person wearing and looking at that mask there's the desire for truthfulness here and there's the desire to come together and be balanced but this person isn't doesn't has this fear of bringing their feelings to the forefront they're timid when it comes to perhaps worried about more pain from the past but there's a king of wands on the back of that deck you know, so much passion and fire towards you. Um, here we have the King of Swords. This could, person could be a very logical, um, analytical type of person. We have this Knight of Wands. You know, the King of Wands doesn't do things impetuously. They don't do things based on passion. You know, the King of Swords is about truth and is about logic. So I feel like your person is trying desperately to hold on to that logic um, and trying to figure out a clear way to bring about that truth, to bring forward this passion and this truthful, like all of these feelings of, of love and passion they have for you. They're trying to figure out a way to take that mask off and bring over into this connection all of that truth. You see this King of Swords really contemplating a way and he's intelligent and he always finds a way. Air energy really represented here by that King of Swords. On the back of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So this person could really value material security. They could be someone who's really working on themselves, trying to gain up that security for you as well. And just really stable type of energy, somebody you can depend on. Urgent love message. Three of Cups. So they really want to be, um, they want to take you out and celebrate with you. The Three of Cups is about friendships. This could be somebody who is kind of friend zoned with you right now. Somebody who you haven't really be considered um, as a love interest in the past, but really wants to be taken out of that friend zone. Not really sure how to do so. You know, sometimes when I see the Three of Cups and the Two of Swords together like this with the Five of Wands in this combination, I think about a third party getting in the way and that being the 
you know, decision that this person has to make to move forward. You know, do they make a decision to the left or to the right? And I'm kind of reinforced with that idea right now with this two of pentacles. You know, it's about juggling things. It doesn't have to be about juggling two people, but it can be about juggling emotions and their emotions for you or responsibilities in the physical realm and their feelings for you. So they're really juggling and struggling with their connection with you, with other things, other responsibilities in their life. And they're in like a decision making mode. But here we have the beautiful page of cups. The decision that they really are leaning towards is to bring forth that beautiful new offer of love. They want to offer you an emotional new start here. Um, there's fear holding them back, but they do want to offer that to you. Urgent love message, please, spirit. Okay, so this deck, or oh, sorry, this card is not a is not a part of the traditional Rider Waite deck, but I have given it meaning. And when I see this card, I think of someone who may be building up a foundation or a life with some other person, um, and it may even appear like a very happy home and a very secure home. And in truth, you know, someone in this connection is actually you know, their mind is stuck in the past, their mind is stuck in, in, on another place. It may, things are not as they seem. Appearances can be deceiving. So I feel like this could represent your energy or your person's energy. There could be a third party, as I said, for some of you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. But for those of you who are dealing with a third party or some sort of karmic connection here, um, this person or you can't get your mind out of the past. You can't get your mind off of this person you can't they can't get their mind off of you even though it may appear that they've moved forward um they truly are stuck in the past with that five of cups and that card coming out for me just by the two of pentacles again feel they are juggling something feelings for you versus responsibilities here we have that eight of pentacles I feel like they've been holding these feelings for you for quite a while. All of those years lined up for me there with the Eight of Pentacles, wearing that mask, not being truthful about their true intentions, their true feelings towards you. Um, and But again, steadfast energy, someone who's been holding this flame for you for a while, someone who would truly wants to look after you in life. More decision making with this Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about that passion they feel for you and the desire for expansion, the desire to travel, the desire to move this connection forward. But what is really important to note about this Two of Wands is that this person's feet are planted firmly on the ground. He's not approaching any, he's not moving. <laughs> You know, he's studying the world, which I believe you are. You are the world. They're looking at you. They're watching you from afar, perhaps. Um, but again, they're not showing their true um, feelings towards you. We have the emperor showing up here next to this two of wands. Truly, the emperor is a leader type of stoic, firm, you know, very masculine energy here with the emperor. Doesn't show his emotions. You know, Taurus energy really represented and just they don't show their emotions. They're truly, truly stoic. Um, I feel like this person's not being honest with the people in their life about their true depth of emotion and feeling towards you. Here we have that three of cups again. So definitely <laughs> the honesty is not there. And the five of wands, guys. Five of wands, three of cups, three of cups. Spirit is truly repeating messages for you guys today. This person could be stuck in a third party situation. And that is the, the conflict, the drama, you know, the, um, that is what's keeping them from coming forward because they are here. King of Pentacles on the back of the deck again, they truly are the type of person that feels like a very steadfast, you know, earthbound energy, someone who is really dedicated and somebody who, you know, is loyal in whatever situation they're in, very loyal um, on the physical plane, but emotionally they're struggling with that depth of loyalty that maybe they have to show in another family situation because they're truly thinking about you. I'll get some advice from spirit here. Your angels, what are your angels' perspectives? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You've stirred this person's romantic feelings for sure, but they're not being honest about them to anybody. Separation. 
time apart from your partners on horizon. I feel like this is a separated, um, this could be a no contact situation right now. Um, at any rate, this person's not able to be honest with you with all of those moon images in this reading. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like the passion in this connection is truly what is um, plaguing your person. <laughs> We had that, you know, knight of wands there. We have those five of, of wands. It's like they can't, it's frustrating for them because they can't seal the deal. We have the getting to know you card on the back of the deck. So, and the flirt card. So this does feel like a friendship situation or a relationship that hasn't gotten off the ground yet for me, for some of you. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Whoops. Listen with your heart. If your person comes forward to speak their truth, you are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. And on the back of the deck we have, appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love. Now, what does your person want to say to you? What is some direct messages that your person, if they could get you alone, would tell you? I've never felt like this before. And I wish that I had fought harder for us. I feel like there's this sense of your person wishing they hadn't kind of taken off at the first sight of danger or taken off, you know, when things got a little bit intense between you, I feel like they sort of realized their feelings and then bolted. I know that I hurt you in that way. It's interesting. And I miss your laugh. I'm watching from the outside, which is interesting because I sense that, you know, from the beginning of this reading that your person is aware of you, um, kind of a fight or flight kind of feeling. I'm not being honest with myself. And that King of Swords, you know, truly is about honesty, truly does want to slice through um, untruths in this connection. So they're trying. I found someone else, maybe a message that resonates for some of you. We also have the, I'm too, you're too good for me. We started at the reading with that beautiful nine of pentacles that truly shows that they hold you on that pedestal. And here we have, I want to make things right one day, but on the back of the deck we have, I don't want anyone to get hurt. As I said, they feel like a really steadfast energy, someone who, you know, is dedicated to whatever connection they're in. They truly would like they're the type of person that would stay with someone for the kids. Do you know what I mean? That sort of energy. Some charms for you guys. Choose this one. Choose this one. Okay, we'll start with your cards here. Five of Cups, guys, we have that Five of Cups already here and the Death card. So truly this person is stuck in the mistakes of the past, not unsure of how to move forward, not focused on what they do have in their life, really focused upon, you know, the mistakes they've made, um, the things they have and have not done, really focused upon that past. A lot of um, sadness associated with that Five of Cups. And then we have that death card, the call for a transition. Your person wants to move this into a new transition, but they are, are afraid of what that entails. Unsure of how to move forward, but there is a call for an, uh, a new beginning here with that death card. They want to put an end to that sadness. They're tired of that feeling of anxiety, I feel. We have the W today. Not many charms came out with you for you guys today, but we have the W, we have the quarter from 1974, the 25th of the month could mean something to you. Um, five and two make seven as well. And seven is, you know, about challenges and obstacles. And, and truly, you know, that this person is focused on those challenges. The five of swords is here, just focused on not being, or sorry, the five of wands twice, 
focused on how how many obstacles are in the way of this connection. Um, we have the W, as I said, the guitar. This person could be musically inclined. This marble makes me think of Japan. So take what resonates for yourself if you see something different in that marble. And then we have the chain today. And the chain really, I think of the devil energy when I think of the chain. I think of a connection that is hard to break away from. Your person is also feeling trapped in their current situation as well, I feel. Okay, group one, that is your reading, an urgent message, love message from your person. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification so you don't miss out on any videos I post. Um, let me know how the sound came through today for you guys as well. I am using a new mic. Um, I'm kind of playing around with it, kind of worried it won't even record, so we'll see. <laughs> um, otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next group, and I just hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello everybody in group two. I hope you're doing great today. You guys were drawn to the frog spirit and the white cluster and this is your urgent love message from your person. Holding that person in your mind um, as we draw these cards are really important. The frog spirit is an interesting spirit. It's often associated with female energy. Um, I feel like whoever's watching this could be a very highly emotional person, perhaps very empathic, um, able to traverse you know, the spiritual realm and their physical realm quite easily. Um, this person that you're asking about, it just feels like a very, it brings good luck as well. I should say the frog spirit brings in good luck as well. So, you know, there could be water energy here. Your person could be a water sign. They don't have to be Cancer Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> But they don't have to be but it, it's often associated with female energy um highly emotional this could be a very highly um, emotional connection we'll see what your cards say what does your person want to say what is that urgent love message they have to bring forth for you today what's important for them to let you know something they can't share for you share with you in the 3d realm for whatever reason okay so we have the six of cups so this could be somebody you're dealing with from a friend group from the past the six of cups is a soulmate card it is about nostalgic love it's about you know holding somebody with rose colored glasses and really truly reminiscing about the past it's a beautiful energy one of my favorite cards in the whole deck is the six of cups lots of loving energy there it's about, you know, being generous as well, gift giving. This person wants to be generous with you. We have the Page of Cups. Oh my gosh, and notice the spoon there has holes in it. The page really doesn't have a solid foundation in which to build upon the love that they want to bring forth, but there's an innocence about it. There's this, this childlike innocence about the Page of Cups bringing forth that new emotional start. I feel like your person really holds you on this beautiful pedestal it's a childlike love here i just spy the tower card though on the back of the deck it's like a revelation towers can be about revelations coming in it's like there's no turning back once you discover that you're in love with someone it's that kind of feeling i'm gonna st <coughs> sorry guys <laughs> excuse me <laughs> Here's the death card. So there is a call for um, a new beginning with the death card here. Um, people are often scared of this card. There's no need to be. The death is card is truly about transition and change. It's about the need to shift this connection into a new realm. And I feel like this person maybe has been stuck in a friend zone with you for a while. We do, I do see the three of wands here on the back of the deck. And I feel like pulling that here. So... I feel like this person really desires expansion. They desire the opportunity to bring forth some passion into this connection. That three of wands, wands are all about passion. They're about, you know, wanting to express something physical with you. And they haven't given up hope in this connection. I see this beautiful star card. I do, however, feel like saying that for some of you, this person's been holding these feelings for you a secret for a very long time, I feel. You know, holding this crush it feels like a real crush type of situation for some of you. Yeah, secrets for sure. 
we have the the high priestess here holding those feelings for you um private holding them inside it's like a hidden little gem of a secret that they have um, about you the the high priestess is really in tune with her intuition and as i said i feel like you guys could be very empathic as well so i feel like you guys are very well aware of this person's feelings despite the fact that they think it's a big secret i feel like you already know because you're so intuitive anyway and here's that clarity i feel like you know something has happened in the in the recent days or weeks that has brought in a lot of clarity for this person about these feelings and the depth of feeling for you about that desire to maybe bring forth this long held secret into the forefront and offer that emo emotional new start you know that sense of them holding on to this crush this feelings for you for a really long time since the time you guys were younger and now there's that you know aha moment where they're saying i want to come forward i want to bring forth something I need a change to happen in this connection because I have so much passion I want to express with you but I'm feeling a little lack inside myself and I don't know how to plan for that I don't know you know but here we have that queen of wands their opinion of you is so high they think that you're very um, well-rounded you are able to traverse your emotions with your passions quite easily the queen of wands you know you could be an entrepreneur somebody who makes money based off of some of their passion projects. Um, but that just really shows that flame they've been holding for you, the desire to express themselves, the desire to shift this sweet kind of innocent connection into a fiery, passionate connection. Your person's done with sweetness. They want fire with you. Here we have the 10 of cups. Oh, they want more than just fire, guys. I would lie. They want, they want home and happiness. Fire, yes, but through that fire, to build something beautiful with you. The Ten of Cups is truly about that ultimate fulfillment of happiness. It's about building a family with someone, building a home. You see that little house in the background with the little heart? Transforming this connection out of a friend zone, I feel, into the 3D, into something that you guys could really truly build a family. I feel like they wanna build a family with you. I feel like they really dream about having children with you. We see this beautiful death card with her big pregnant belly there. And here on the back of the card deck, we have this maze. They are, their mind is a maze when it comes to you. The five of cups really focused on, again, what they don't have to offer as opposed to what they do have to offer you. Being stuck in the past in that fearful place of not being able to come forward with those true feelings, the true emotions that they feel for you. But desperately wanting a shift. Desperately wanting a shift in this connection. They want you to know that they see you as a potential for the long haul. <laughs> they see you as potential for, you know, real security. Okay, guys. So we are high priestess, ace of swords. You know, it's that sense of spirit saying, you know, I said what I said. <laughs> holding those in, you know, and I, when I see this twice, I feel like it's mirrored energy as well. So I feel like you guys are holding the secret for them too. I feel like you've both gained a lot of clarity when it comes to true feelings in this connection and I feel like look at this they're showing up right on top of each other spirits way of letting you know that that clarity is important you know the high priestess you know she holds on to those secrets but sometimes it's important to reveal them the ace of swords is about truth it's about revealing those truths it's about coming forward with that offer and I feel like this person could come forward and, and finally let you know five of cups on the back of this deck already guys here we have the Eight of Wands, the desire to move this connection into a fiery new, into a fiery new position. And the Eight of Wands is truly about movement. Um, I feel like this person desperately desires a shift here with that Death card, with this Eight of Wands. They want to express themselves physically with you. They could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but they don't have to be. You could also be a fire sign. Whoops. Seven of Wands. So this, it's been a struggle for them. Um, it's been exhausting. <laughs> With this Seven of Wands, you know, really speaks about obstacles and challenges that have gotten in their way that they've had to fight through um, to get towards you. And I feel like they're going to keep fighting. Like they see the obstacles, 
but they feel like it's worth it. We have this Queen of Pentacles, their opinion, whoops, and the victory card. There we go. See, Spirit's speaking to you. <laughs> they want you to see Knight of Swords charging in. I feel like this person's ready to reveal their truth to you. They see victory with you. They want to offer you the secure life that you deserve with that Queen of Pentacles. She is abundant in every way. And that seven or the six of wands is, again, more about that passion, but also showing the victory that they see with you, showing the victory that they desire with you. It is safe for you to love this person. Feels like a very sweet energy, really desperate to move this connection into another realm. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You know, and I, you see these children on this card. Children could be a factor in this connection, but I also feel like you've known this person from the time you were a child. And look at like how adorable, how sweet they are when they're embracing each other like that. There's, there's an effortless innocence there. There's an effortless connection there. And I feel like this is, this definitely could be a soulmate connection, you guys. It feels very lovely. Lovely energy from this person from you. Oh, to trust and let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold. Stop trying to control every aspect of your life. Um, the universe wants to come in. Calling in your soulmate, guys. I said this feels like a soulmate connection. Definitely feels soulmate-y to me. <laughs> Embrace love through gifts. Um, and you know, that six of cups that we started this reading with is truly about gift giving as well, about being generous with you. Um, your person really wants to be generous. You see this, this mermaid offering that pearl, you know, offering up, offering up that love that they, and this, the truth, offering up the truth to you as well, which is really important. We also have spend quality time together. Again, this feels like two little children under the moon. Under the moon, revealing their, finally revealing their secrets to each other. And embrace those emotions as well. All your feelings are, are to be... All your feelings to surface and be accepted. Your person wants you to embrace this new beginning. They really want you to embrace them when they come forward with that offer for you. Here, right off the bat, guys. Right off the top here facing up. I'm coming forward. Here we have again, guys, I am ready to act. They're ready to reveal their truth to you. I was stupid. I feel like they're thinking they were stupid for not coming forward in the past. Oh, you guys, I'm yours forever. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you the truth. They don't know how, again, as I said, that page of swords doesn't have that plan necessarily. doesn't really know how to, to move everything into the forefront, but their intentions are pure. We have, um, I want you so badly. No one knows. Again, there's that passion that they feel like they need to, um, oh, I have a lot left that I need to say. Also, I just saw you are a goddess, but it didn't come out. Something is holding me back. And I don't know how much longer I can do this. They don't know how much longer they can keep all of these feelings inside of themselves. <clears throat> here we have, I dream of a second chance with you. Beautiful energy here. Dreaming of that second chance. On here, guys, I just, this, they just keep coming. I want to build a beautiful life with you as well. Your messages keep coming from this lovely person. Dig down to the bottom. <clears throat> Okay, you guys, let's see what we have for your cards first. The Page of Pentacles brings forth news, new opportunities. Again, there's that essence of, oh, and the Ace of Pentacles, you guys. That, that I feel like this person's coming forward with that truth, with some news for you. The Ace of Pentacles offers that new opportunity. That Page of Pentacles is, you know, a new windfall or new opportunities coming in. So news coming in for you guys. Lots of Earth energy represented here. 
um, I feel like this person is ready to 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 truly put their heart out on a limb there <laughs> truly to make it you know take a risk with you we have B and N or Z we have the marble this is the second time this marbles come up today it makes me think of Japan so that could resonate with you the lock does not surprise me with those high priestesses because it really shows about the secrets needing to be revealed in this connection. We also have the Leo charm. So you guys could definitely be a Leo. We have the guitar pick here. They could be musically inclined. And we have the chili pepper. And this comes up when I know that there's a lot of fire and passion needing to be expressed. It's a little chili pepper. So it feels like, you know, this feels like a connection that hasn't moved into the physical realm yet, but there's a de desperate desire to do so. We have this little watermelon charm, um, the guitar pick, as I said, this rune of strength. But it's also important that this rune is, <clears throat> there's more to this rune. Hold on one moment. The rune of strength and prowess and suggests willpower, good health, and rapidly overcoming the forces against you. So this person feels like there were forces holding them back, felt like they were, um, there were some obstacles here with this five, the seven of wands getting in the way, you know, their own fears, their own, you know, insecurities getting in the way, forces against them, but they're overcoming these because they're ready to act because their passion and the love they feel for you is strong enough that it's it's propelling them to action okay group two that is your reading an urgent love message from your person i feel like this person's coming coming in hot for sure um, if this resonated with your situation please leave me a comment in the comment section um, if you feel called to please subscribe to the channel hit that notification so you don't miss out on any of the videos i post um, otherwise i'm going to go ahead and move on to the third group and i just hope to see you guys here again on another day at the tarot cottage bye you guys Hello everybody in group three. I hope you're doing well today. You guys were drawn to the Buffalo spirit and the pink rose. Um, and this is your urgent love message from your person. The Buffalo is, you know, obviously a lot of very strong earth energy represented here, steadfast, dependable type of energy. Um, it's truly about endurance and strength. Um, this could be a connection that has endured a long time. You guys could have known each other in multiple lives as well. There's just a steadfast energy here and a lot of power as well. A lot of power and strength here with this Buffalo spirit. What is an urgent love message from your person today? Already out of the deck, we have the King of Swords. So again, your person feels steadfast feels very logical, somebody who um, is trying to lead through their intelligence and logic, not with their heart on their sleeve. Um, the King of Swords is about truth as well. Page of Pentacles. So your person wants to open up the lines of communication with you with this Page of Pentacles. You know, the page comes in with new opportunities and news. Um, it's important as well to mention that this page of pentacles, there isn't always a lot of um, planning. When the pages come through, it's a very young type of energy. And I'm not saying that the person is necessarily young that you're asking about or thinking about, but it's just a young type of energy or a feeling that they don't really have the confidence that the knight or the king would represent. So your person wants to come forward with news for you for sure. And we have Knight of Wands. And part of the news that they want to bring forward is that passion that they're feeling towards you. The Knight of Wands gallops in with charisma and, you know, passion. They offer you all sorts of bells and whistles. They're just very adventurous and charismatic. So they have a lot of um, passion they want to express for you. And if you aren't in contact with them right now, I feel like you maybe just got a message from them or you will get a message from them very soon. And they really want to bring forth some truth. And some of that truth is about the passion they want to express with you. Urgent message, please, spirit. King of Cups. So yeah, not just passion, love, abundance, security. That King of Cups is, is such a wholesome, loving type of energy, father type of energy, but just so much love and compassion in, inside of the King of Cups. 
the ultimate amount of love, the ultimate, you know, just sitting on that throne, loving you. <clears throat> Generosity, kindness. They want to offer you everything. <laughs> The hanged man. So somebody is feeling a little bit stuck with that hanged man energy, but it's really important to mention with the hanged man that it's a self-imposed suspension from that tree. You know, it's a relaxed position. This person can get down if they want to, if they chose to, but they're trying to be very logical when it comes to this connection with that king of swords on top of this hanged man. They're trying to figure out their true feelings, they're trying to delve to the bottom of it unemotionally. You know, the Buffalo spirit is steadfast. It's de dependable. It's determined. It's not necessarily an emotional creature. So they're in the state of suspension, maybe waiting for the universe to kind of clear a path, a clear path here. There is a call for a resurrection with this judgment card, a call for a new beginning. And that's really, you know, they, they, they're going to come forward with some news for you, perhaps. And part of that news is this offer of a new start offer of a new beginning. Um, the judgment card again about that resurrection. You see these people rising. We have this nine of wands though. So I feel like they've been holding this passion for you for quite a while, but it's like the nine is about, they're a little d bit defensive perhaps. Their conclusions are coming to an end. They really desire um, closure here. Closure they feel like is coming. Um, but it's the sense of holding on to this passion for a really long time with you kind of feeling defensive about it now, unsure of how you're going to receive them when they come forward with this offer. Um, and a sense of, of being tired, <laughs> not necessarily willing to let go, not necessarily willing to release some of this passion, but just feeling tired, ready for movement, ready for that new beginning because they're growing tired of the chase, I think in their own hearts anyway. temperance. So they des they do want honesty to be at the forefront of this connection. They want to pour all their thoughts into you. Um, they want to mix together the two of you. There's a sense of alchemy here with the temperance card, a call for balance. Um, they feel like you could really bring a lot of balance into their life. And they feel like they could do the same for you as well. They desire expansion with you. They desire the, um, I feel like they're watching you. We have this three of wands on the back of the deck. You see Sophia here with the, the sunglasses or the the um, goggles here and she's really watching in the distance. I feel like this person desires expansion. They want to move this connection into more of a physical place. Um, but you, the interesting thing about the three of wands is there's no movement happening here. They're just observing. They're just trying to make plans at this point. Important, urgent love message from your person. Whoops, jumping out at me today. We have the seven of swords. So sneakiness, not being honest with themselves, not being honest with you, you know, trying. I feel like they are in the state of suspension of trying to be honest with themselves, but there's a sense of just dishonesty and sneakiness here. We have the knight of swords in the reverse position. That's an interesting one. So when I see this knight of swords, I think of, and especially with this, this knight of, or sorry, this king of swords together, this person may on the onset come across as kind of cold. And when they approach you with this offer, it's going to be an unemotional offer. And it may even come across as a little bit cold. They may come across as a little bit standoffish when they come forward with this news for you with this knight of swords in the reverse position. And that could just be their fear truly of losing face of, um, you know, if their fear of being rejected so that they're kind of trying to protect themselves by acting macho or egotistical or here we have the judgment card again there is a call for resurrection they do want to move this connection into a new realm but they're almost too scared to admit it out loud for fear of you saying no ace of pentacles again but that offer is coming in because they do have these intense emotions for you 
we have the seven of cups in the reverse position on the back of the deck. I try to keep my decks in the upright at all times. So if a, if a card comes out or is accidentally left in the reverse position, I do read it in the reverse position. And you know, that seven of cups really shows that clarity is coming in for them. You know, the seven of cups in the upright position is all about, and here we have the king of swords again, is all about options. It's all about wearing those masks and maybe having fantasies um, that are not realistic but when we see it in the reverse position like this it's really about you know those illusions coming to an end sense being restored to this person you know clarity is coming in for them which is a wonderful thing because they've had themselves in this state of suspension they have been trying to gain that clarity not being honest with themselves or with you about their feelings and truly like it's setting them into this state of I, w I want to use the term brattiness, but just like the state of like, well, you know, I'm going to act a little cold when I approach them because that way if they don't, I'm going to put out some feelers and if they're kind of acting cold towards me, then I'm going to back off because I don't want to get hurt here. So they're truly, you know, there's that sense of deliberate coldness here with your person. So when they approach you with this Ace of Pentacle offer, this news coming in, you know, they're going to be a little bit guarding of their emotions of their feelings always take what resonates leave what does not in my readings we have the flirt card and the honeymoon card so this person could be someone who's very been very flirty with you in the past um but has never really spoken their true intentions like they'll flirt and maybe back off flirt and maybe back off because they're trying to put feelers out maybe force you to make the move um but you guys are not biting <laughs> and so we have this honeymoon card they want to travel with you that three of wands that i saw earlier is about that expansion is about the desire to travel with you but i do focus on the moon in this card again secrets being revealed and needing to be revealed truthfulness needing to be revealed the flirt card when i see the flirt card you know flirting is very um on the surface you know it's 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 when you flirt with someone you're not showing your true intentions you're not showing your true self so there is that sense of honesty needing to be expressed here true feelings not just flirtations wedding marriage is the situation involves marriage so I don't know who that is resonating with. Someone in this connection could be married. We also have the pay attention to red flags on the back of the deck. Um, so you could be dealing with someone who is already in a connection or this could just show, you know, a spirit's way of telling you that this could be someone that you could truly end up with. Children could be a factor in this connection as well. That's interesting. And true love is on the back of the deck. This is the romance of a lifetime. The only thing that is real is love. See this beautiful card, that world in the background, you know, the, tr the call for closure is truly here in this connection. You see the beautiful r rainbow surrounding the world, the children in the front forefront. Um, truly this, this connection needs closure in order to bring it forward into a beautiful place, which is, there's always the possibility of that. Um, for some of you, children could already be a factor in this connection. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. And on the back of the deck, we have actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. This person's coming forward. You know, as I said earlier, I don't know that they'll be a little stoic, a little cold when they first approach you with these offers, but I do see them coming. We have that Ace of Pentacles, so news is coming in for you. So, you know, their actions are going to speak very loudly as towards their intentions towards you. I replay everything that happened in my mind as the first card out for their secret messages. What do they want to say to you that maybe they're unable to do so? We also have, I wish I had been more honest with you. And there's such a call for honesty here. I'm afraid that I'm too late. Sorry, I'm shaking this table, you guys. I'm afraid I'm too late. I fantasize about you. And we had that seven of cups on the back of this, of this deck with the, you know, it was in the reverse position, but that is about fantasies. There's, 
And also I made a huge mistake. And interesting guys here, I dream of having children with you. We had the children card come up. We had all the imagery of the children in that world card. Will you wait for me? Oh, I'm in love with you and no one knows. And we also have here, I daydream about you. On the back of the deck I have, I'm haunted by us. So you truly play on this person's mind if you're not in contact with them at the moment. Get some cards for you or some charms for you. We'll start with our little mini tiny, teeny tiny tarot. I've been getting a lot of comments on this cute little tarot deck. And if you're interested in this tarot deck, it is available on Amazon. I literally um, searched for, I think, teeny tiny tarot. So if that's what you would like to get yourself, they're really cute. Okay, guys, what do we have here? Oh, the Six of Cups. This could be someone from your friendship group from a long time ago. It's really about nostalgic love. It's about, you know, I, it's my favorite card in the tarot deck, the Six of Cups. It's twin flame, soulmate type of energy. It's loving, nostalgic energy. You know, someone looks at you with rose-colored glasses. They want to be very generous with you. And then we have this Five of Pentacles that really shows your person's sense, you know, their sense of poverty when they think about what they've lost, you know, it, it, you know, that's truly about, you know, what they've lost when they think about you, you know, it's like this, this yin yang, they, they're propelled, you know, they go from feelings of nostalgia and love to feelings of remorse and poverty when it comes to this connection, because they truly desire to move this into a new beginning. They do wish that they could move it forward. Here we have the yin yang, again, soulmate connections really represented here. We have the carrot that could resonate with someone. We have the moon um, and it's encircling this star. So hope is not all hope is lost in this connection, but there are truths that need to be revealed. That moon really shows those secret intentions, those secret feelings that haven't been revealed. We have this little block that really shows this person, you know, maybe trying to climb that ladder of success, trying to move this connection to a new level. We have the feather, which makes me think of soulmate connections. We have the pearl, someone coming forward with news, with an opportunity, pearls of wisdom coming in. The star again here, again, no hope lost. The strawberry could represent something for someone out there as well. Summertime could be significant. We have this little bear. Children could be a factor in this connection already for one or both of you. That could be one of the obstacles maybe that's holding you guys apart. There could be a family situation. We also have the Leo charm here. So Leo energy, somebody could be a Leo. We have a nickel here. The fifth of the month or May could be important to you. And 2006 is the date on this nickel. We also have the rune of balance. And there's more to that rune as well. Let me look that up for you. I don't know my runes off by heart. My brain is for, <laughs> for very specific things. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so the rune of joy and pleasure indicates that things are finally going to go your way and powerful forces will soon enter your life. So that is an interesting little side note for some of you. Okay, group three, I think that's your reading. Um, this is your urgent message from your person, urgent love message. Um, if this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. I'm a very nosy person. I love to hear all the juicy details. Um, if you feel called to, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. Let me know how the sound comes out if you're using headphones today. Um, I, for people who are wearing headphones and not being able to hear from the right side, um, I've heard that that might be an issue for some people. So let me know how this reading comes out. Um, otherwise, I hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys.